All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here, and dude, stop grooming kids. Planned Parenthood executive director claims children are born sexual and advocates porn literacy lessons for older students in sex education from kindergarten. I can't believe that this person is so twisted that they see absolutely no issue in just standing right on Times Square's corner and shouting that they are proud to be an absolute twizzler. Like, it's just vile to me, dog. Because this is literally textbook grooming, right? This person's whole plan is to expose kids as young as kindergartners, five year olds, to sex content as an adult that is literal grooming because as a kindergartner you're inclined to think that you should listen to what every adult says right you're inclined to think that adults have the superpower that you should follow whenever they command so if you're this guy teaching them about sexual education and he were to ask to do some further activities with you as vile and disgusting as it is it makes me want to vomit thinking about it the kindergartner would absolutely with no question go through with it and it's just vile to know what this dude probably is scheming at his lair back home not to mention the effects of porn on the brain at any age is just absolutely nuts like porn addiction is a real thing and i recommend reading into it just for the fact that how scary it can be if it consumes you or a loved one like it really is a nutty thing to go out there and just promote it to everyone out there and be like yep this is what you should do from a young age this is what i'm telling you to do as an adult like come on man you're supposed to be bettering children not making them worse and it really does make me wonder man do these people go into the workforce right do they plan their job that they desire to get based on this sick notion of theirs of being a female because i would assume a planned parenthood executive director requires some sort of degree right that sounds like a high ranking position like it doesn't seem like something i could walk into with no degree and just get you know what i mean so it makes me wonder if this person plans to get into this position for the influence they will have over children because there seems to be a lot of people that just so happen to coincidentally work around children. A Chuck E. Cheese worker, a teacher, a daycare manager. You know what I mean? Like it gets to a point to where all these coincidences pile up and it makes you wonder if they're more than just coincidences. Like you gotta reline your train of thinking because there's no way it's a coincidence after that many of them. It's just so gross, man, because this person could have had this plan for literal years and no one questioned or known a thing until they actually got to the kid and it was too late. It's just so gross, man. Because in the time they spent spent doing all of this plotting and lurking and just really mischievous nasty behavior they could have gotten a grip gotten help and been in an example in a positive manner of an example of if you realize you have this problem you can get help and learn to control it and not end up hurting a kid very very much so but instead of doing all that he just decides he wants to be the reverse batman instead of fighting crime in the shadows he's the problem in the shadows it's just gross dog but uh yeah i'm gonna call it here dude stop trying to groom kids it's very clear what you're trying to do as everyone agrees kindergartners shouldn't be exposed to that kind of material so please screw your head on and realize that what you're trying to do here is absolutely vile but uh yeah that's about it it's been sick shot guys later